So all you beautiful people, it's Tracky and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I've got a very, very special Kilo setup for Call of Duty Warzone. Now, disclaimer here, I've got to put this out here, but it's also a little pointer for you guys. This particular weapon that I'm going to show you how to build, you will have needed to play Modern Warfare before to get most of the attachments. However, there is a little workaround that I've got for you guys. Now, when you start playing Call of Duty Warzone, the first thing you have to do before you go into the game is go into the boot camp. And when you complete the boot camp, you will actually get this in your armory. If you click on your kilo, go to your armory, you will actually find what's called the Berliner. Now, a few months ago, I actually done a video which is almost identical to this setup before uh, Call of Duty Warzone actually came out. And this is near enough the setup that I am using. And it will be great for you guys when you get your custom loadouts to utilize this until you can unlock the attachments that you need for this particular loadout. Now, for all of you guys who have already played Modern Warfare, you haven't got to worry, especially if you've utilized the Kilo a lot. So what does this come with? It comes with the Syngard's Whisper, which gives you sound suppression uh, and increased bullet velocity at the slight cost of aim down sight speed. We're not going to talk about the laser because on my class, we're going to remove this. Uh, no stock, which is the really a good part of this gun. It makes it feel like a hybridized SMG slash uh, AR. It gives you increased movement speed and uh, your aim down sight speed is much, much faster at the slight cost of aim stability and recoil control. However, we're going to attach stuff to negate this happening. Then you get the 50 round magazine, which is self-explanatory with the magazines. The higher your ammo count, the, 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 the higher the penalties for your movement speed. So let's move to my actual setup here. So additional to what we've done there, I've got stipple grip on, which gives you faster aim down sight speed, but it also gives you a faster sprint to fire speed. So when you're caught off guard by an enemy and you're in the middle of a sprint, you can get down your sights very, very, very quickly with this particular weapon. The thing I love about the no stock is it just makes it feel so much like an SMG. And if you're somebody that can utilize your movement in terms of jumping, strafing and stuff, this is going to make you a very hard target to hit also in the middle of a gunfight. Then the meat and potatoes is the 100 round drum magazine. Maximum ammo in this gun, 100 uh, at the slight cost of aim down sight speed and movement speed. But as we've already saw, we've put on the stock and we've put on the stipple grip. So we've got that, that, that compensation already to negate that happening. And what this really changes with this weapon gives you the ability to take out several enemies if you're playing squads, strip down all of their armor and finish them and be ready for the next enemy to come for you without having to reload and, and, and put yourself in any danger. Sometimes you're in a situation where you have no cover whatsoever and reloading is usually the death of you. This is why I love this particular weapon. Now, we also need to add the Merc 4 grip, which is the third grip down. So it's not going to take that much time for you to grind for this particular uh, grip. And what this will give you is the recoil control that we lost by putting no stock on is now gained but we get increased hip fire accuracy so all of you guys who like to jump and strafe and stuff you can hit your enemy off the hip it's really really effective uh, and again this comes at the slight cost ever so slight cost of aim down walking uh, movement speed uh, and aim down sight speed where this gun really excels is the ability for you to interact at close range but also finish enemies that are at long range as well it's a really really effective weapon now if you do really want to switch out anything here then feel free to do that because i know a lot of you guys like to put your optics on uh, your weapons however the kilo does have a very very clean iron sight so i don't really feel the need for that to be attached on this particular weapon. In terms of my loadout with this particular weapon, I use the monochromatic uh, Desert Eagle, which I always switch out for some type of sniper rifle that I find during the game. Most of the time, I will go for a second loadout and then put my HDR on. I have cold-blooded, ghost, and tuned up, so those thermal sight uh, users can't see me, ghost, keeps me off the radar, of course, which is very, very important for end game. And in tuned up, 
gives it decreases your self revive time by approximately 20 25 percent and then for my lethal proximity mine and then the the obligatory <laughs> heartbeat sensor which must be used at all times guys that is my setup for call of duty warzone and this is just so so effective for taking on multiple enemies so if you're playing in solos then it's going to be even easier for you to take on enemies and finish them because there is nothing worse than trying to finish off an enemy and you just haven't got enough to beat them in one firefight where they've you've stripped their shield and you 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 finish them off this weapon will almost guarantee that you can do that it's fast furious and ready to go guys there are many buttons you could hit but a like and subscribe button i hope they took your fancy and as always guys don't forget to stay on the right track. Peace.